In today's digital world, you can handle your banking, shopping, bills, and even secure a mortgage all on your mobile device. This is very convenient, but also opens doors to cyber criminals. As technology evolves, so do their techniques. It's important to identify the main methods of attack to help keep you and your identity safe online. Most of us are familiar with the word ransom. In today's digital world, the connotation is a bit different, however. Criminals aren't holding an individual, but rather valuable data hostage. But how do they do this? It is called ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malware, which is a malicious software that infects your computer. Once ransomware is on your computer, it will restrict access to your files by either locking or encrypting the data, making it either unusable or unreadable. You can recover your data only after you pay a price. The first line of defense is awareness of the techniques cyber criminals use to deploy ransomware. Ransomware is typically distributed via email. The email often contains links or attachments, which, once clicked, deploys the malware and begins locking or encrypting the victim's files. But the threat does not end there. If the victim's email is connected to a network, such as a business, the ransomware has the ability to spread to other computers and servers on the network. Once fully executed, the cyber attacker will demand a ransom often paid via a virtually untrackable digital currency, such as Bitcoin, to decrypt and restore the attacked files. Next, let's discuss the effects a ransomware attack may bring. Ransomware is one of the fastest growing methods of cyber attack. Last year, the ransomware attack WannaCry demanded billions of dollars from the hospitals who fell victim. There were hundreds of other attacks that affected thousands of people and exceeded five billion in costs globally. Ransomware initially began as a means of extorting money from individuals, but the use has escalated, and it is now used as a method to secure money from businesses such as hospitals, financial organizations, and government entities. Now let's discuss how you can protect yourself from ransomware attacks. One simple approach is to never click on links or open attachments in emails unless you recognize the sender and know for certain the content is safe. Even if you do recognize the sender, if anything seems suspicious, do not respond to the email itself as the email address could be spoofed or faked and you could be corresponding with the criminal directly. Another technique to protect yourself from the ransomware threat is to deploy antivirus software. It's essential to keep the antivirus updated so it can operate using the most current information to successfully block malicious code from executing. Lastly, there are many third-party options out there to back up your files. Just be sure to confirm their services not only include the backup of the files, but also the restoration of the files if you should ever experience a ransomware attack. Education is the first line of defense against cybercrime. Better understanding the risks and a little caution can protect you and your valuable data.